Hi friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I got a lot of interest when I mentioned making some holiday gift card holders. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make three fairly simple ones and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make here. I have some ideas for a couple more, but they're not hard, but just a little more involved and so I'll do another video with either those individually or together. But um, anyway, that's still in the planning phase. So this one is a pop-up style. Isn't this cute? And the gift card goes right in that little pop-up. You can decorate these with any papers um, and really make them your own, embellish them, super fun. Um, this one has a belly band, and this is probably just the easiest of all of them right there, just like that. Um, and I'm gonna hopefully give you a trick to help make the belly band um, go off and on easy, but but still hold it closed, okay? And then this one is kind of more of a junk journal style, and I love it because um, it's a tag, and the gift card actually sticks to the tag, and then you um, take it off. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So I did go ahead because I'm still very obsessed with Joey Cardmaker's Christmas Bulk Paper Kit. That's what I chose to use today with some cardstock. Um, you can use whatever papers you like. When I make the other ideas that I have for gift cards, I'll probably use maybe just some scrapbook paper or something like that. We'll see. Um, but I just can't get enough of the images in this kit. So I'm having a lot of fun with that. All right, let's start with the tag one. So I'm gonna set that here, and I've already cut my papers and gotten everything together um, so that we can make these um, on camera. This is gonna be the tag. So this is the base card piece. So I have some notes, and I will put all of the measurements for you in the description of the video, so don't even worry about that. Okay, so for the pocket pocket tag gift card, for the pocket part, you need a piece of paper that is eight and a half inches by three and one quarter. And we are gonna score. So I'm gonna get out my scoreboard, and on that eight and a half inch side, so on the long side, score at three and a half inches. And let me tell you guys too, these ideas are ones that I have gotten through the years um, on YouTube and, and other places, Pinterest, things like that. So I'm not claiming these as my own ideas. I may have changed them a little bit or I may just be using different papers, but there's so many videos out there. These are just some that, that I have particularly enjoyed, okay? All right, so this is how simple making the base is. We are going to layer some pretty papers on here and then I'll give you the measurements for the tag. So I do put a full piece on the back and I found this tree in the kit and I just think that's beautiful. So we're gonna use that for the back and this piece measures, uh, let's see, three, by four and three quarters. So it's three inches wide and four and three quarter inches tall. And we're gonna glue that onto the back. And then your layering pieces, you need them to be three inches wide and one by three and one quarter inches. That piece is gonna go here. And then this tiny piece is also three inches wide and it is one and three quarter inches tall. And it's just gonna go right here at the top, okay? Because then when we glue this pocket down, it's gonna layer just like this. Now, I chose to use papers that matched, but you know, you could mix and match this. You could do fun plaids or polka dots or like holly, like, you know, a lot of different patterns. This one obviously had like the gingerbread men. So, you know, there's lots of options. All right, I am going to do some light inking. I'm not gonna do um, a lot, but I'm gonna do some light inking really quick on the pocket. And I'm also going to ink those layering pages. Depending on the papers you choose, you know, you may or may not want to ink this project. Um, I'm using my walnut stain, which is my favorite. Okay, I always um, find it fun when it's October and I am like 
in high production mode for all my Christmas crafts. It makes me happy. I even, if y'all want to know a secret, I even sometimes um, listen to Christmas music while I'm doing this. And um, it just really puts me in the mood. Christmas was my mother's um, favorite season. And she always made it very special um, with handmade things and decorations and music and um you know, just time together as a family and worshiping and all those things. So yes, I love, I love, I love, I love Christmas. Okay, we're gonna put the small piece down first on the back panel. And I'm just using wet white glue. Um, you could use a glue stick, tape, you know, whatever you wanna use. Um, you know, like two-sided tape, whatever. Um, I'm going to lay it so I have approximately the same amount of space around the piece of paper on the sides and at the top, right? And see, this is gonna cover that up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just glue my pocket down. And you do want to, you know, be careful with your glue. <laughs> if you are messy and don't get too close to that edge, um, it'll be hard for your tag and your gift card to fit in there. Um, I did a much better job than I normally do, but, um, you know, you don't have to be quite that skinny, but it will work. And this craft card stock I have found with wet white glue, you just really have to give it a moment or two to stick. It just, I don't know. It, it is, has to absorb it. I don't know. It's very dry card stock. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to layer this other piece right on the front of that pocket. And um, we're going to write the word Mary. Sometimes I like to put little secret messages or hearts or smiley faces or things like that in the glue when I'm gluing things down. Okay, that looks so pretty already. And we'll put a decoration on the front. This tree is just, it doesn't even need anything. Um, it is so beautiful. Um, the, and again, these are projects where you could, you know, put ribbon and lace and um, bling. You know, you really can decorate these as much or as little as you want. And if you're making them early enough in the season, you know, you probably have time to, to do the extras. If it's Christmas Eve and you're watching this video because you have a gift card and you need a fun present for somebody um, and you want to make it a little more special, then maybe, you know, you don't take quite as much time on the decorations. That's up to you. <laughs> All right. Um, before I decorate the front, I'm going to make the tag so that then I can kind of see where I'm at, okay? So for the tag, you need a piece of cardstock, and I'm making mine, um, it will be plenty wide to hold the gift card, but I like making it, you know, did I... I thought I cut, yeah, a little more narrow. Um, at first I tried putting one in that was a little wider and it fit, but it was a little snug. So we are going to make this two and a half inches wide, okay? And four and three quarter inches tall. And then I am going to cut mine into a tag shape. This one, I just snipped the corners. This one, I think I'm going to use, just I'm going to get fancy and use my little tag punch here. Um, you certainly don't have to do this, but this is one of my favorite punches simply because you can do tags one and a half inches wide and it has kind of a scalloped top. The one that I just did at two and a half inches and then a two inch tag and they all have a little bit different top. It's so cute. So anyway, I use that a lot at Christmas time. So it gives it just a little extra. It did make it a little shorter, but it still fits in there great. Our gift card will also still fit on there, okay? And then really it's just decorating and that, that chopper did really take quite a bit off of my tag. Um, this one is much taller. Again, it's okay but it may impact what I decorate with, right? I did get out this um, ribbon with the little um, gold stars because I thought that would be pretty 
with the papers I chose. Um, this is a one, a ribbon that's only printed on one side, so is that one. So sometimes you have to put it in here and play with it and see if, if you like it, but I do. And I cut it way too long, a little wasteful. This is ribbon I got, I can't even tell you how long ago, um, after Christmas one year at Big Lots. That's a Big Lots sticker, 50 cents. <laughs> so it was a good deal, but I still don't wanna waste that much. So I'm going to pull it through so that when I trim it off, I'll still have a little piece that I can probably staple to something later. Okay, and I'll be more careful when I'm cutting my ribbon. Oh goodness. Okay. Now, because I ended up chomping this one a little bit shorter, I don't even know that it needs another decoration. It's really gonna tuck in there. Um, you certainly could. Let's see what we're gonna do on the front. I've got a candy cane that would look cute. There's some bells. I cut out just a few of the pieces. The poinsettia is really pretty too with that bird in it. Oh, it's so hard to choose. Oh, look, it's like a pheasant. <laughs> I'm gonna do the poinsettia. It's very hard to choose. Now, the way I attached the gift card to the tag is I used a repositional glue dot. And um, I used my last one, but I've ordered more. Um, so what happens is the, um, well, now it's not one to pull off. With the reposition, maybe I didn't use a repositional one. Maybe I used the wrong one. I did. I used a permanent one. <laughs> it'll still pull off, but it'll mess up the tag. So, um, and these are gift cards that are already all used up, and I'm just using them for purposes to illustrate. So when you have, this is a permanent glue dot, and I have some, until I ran out, that are repositional. And you just put like two on here with the glue dots, and then you stick your gift card, whatever this one's all used up to, but it will stay on there, and then you can slide it in and out of your pocket, and then when you pull the tag out, it comes with it. But I'm gonna have to wait to stick my gift card on here, and that's okay. All right. On this one, I added special delivery. Um, and you know, I could probably get something on here. Let's see, it does look a little plain. Let's see what we have about Merry Christmas. Yep, Merry Christmas is gonna fit and it's gonna look cute. So um, you could stamp a sentiment, you could put a sticker on here, you could write something on here. I also was thinking, you know, cause a lot of times with these, like you want like a two from sticker or put a, write a little note, the back of the tag will be cute for writing a note. All right, that's still going to fit on there and it's going to look great. Um, so, you know, lots of things that you can do. I didn't really leave any place to write on the actual pocket, but, um, you know, you could also tie another little, um, tag on there if you wanted to, or put it down in a gift bag or something. Okay. I love this one. All right. I think I like this one almost as maybe even better than this one, even though I did love those little birds. Okay. So we've made the tag version. Let's do the pop-up next. I love that it looks like this little tiny wallet. All right, so on this one, for the one we're going to make together, I decided to use a red cardstock, even though I really was enjoying the neutral cardstock with these papers. But you're going to start off with whatever cardstock you choose, <laughs> and it needs to be 10 inches long. Just double check. 10 inches long by 4 inches wide. Now, again, there's lots of tutorials on how to make pop-ups for gift cards. Um, so I'm gonna try to not confuse you, but there's other kind of styles and versions of this out there as well. This is the one that, that I 
tend to find works well for me. I made a bunch of these um, for a craft fair that I did a few years ago and they sold really well. Okay, so we are going to score on the 10 inch side. We're gonna score at one and one quarter inch. And again, this will be in the description for you. Three and three quarter inches. Five and three quarter inches. Make sure you're doing it straight. Five and three quarters and seven and three quarters. Okay, so let me say that again. One and a quarter, three and three quarters, four and three quarters, and seven and three quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's all the scoring we're going to do. Now, I am going to... Um, have you look at your paper and that is your um, your most narrow score line that's the one and a quarter inch we are going to hold it where that's on the left hand side and on the right hand side I want you to look at your score lines you've got one and then two on that second one skip the first one fold your um, paper on that score line, nice and neat. Okay. Now, this I, this is not confused. Th this isn't hard, but it could get confusing. So I want you to hold it. So you've got the two layers right in your fold line. We are going to punch our notch out through both layers on the fold line. I think that's the easiest way to explain that. So. I'm just gonna use one of my circle punches. This one happens to be one and a half inches. Use whatever you want. And I'm not gonna do a super deep notch, but I mean, you could do one deeper if you wanted to. Okay, so now we have our notch. What we have to do is, um, and when you open it up, it kind of looks like a little oval depending on how deep you made your notch. We are going to now glue this. And I'm gonna show you where we're gonna put glue. We are gonna put glue in between these two score lines on both sides. And then we are gonna close it together like that. So you don't wanna glue this flap down. I guess if you want to, you can go ahead and fold that up so you don't get confused. And you don't wanna fold that one, glue that one. You just wanna glue these two together, okay? Just these two sections. All right, so I'm gonna add the glue. And again, um, be careful to make it nice and narrow if you can. And we are going to glue this together, just like that. So yours should look like this. All right, let that glue dry don't you know we don't want to mess it up because now we are going to trim a small sliver off of here so that that opening for our gift card is there you could do this with scissors like draw a line if you want to i'm going to use my little trimmer my vintage creative memories trimmer <laughs> that's probably older than some of my children okay that are all adults now Okay, now we have, I'm not going to pull on it too much, but now we have that opening and the gift card's going to slide in there. That's going to be our pop-up, okay? So you've glued it together. Now you definitely want to fold on your other score lines. So we're just going to fold it up. And then the last one that was that one and a quarter inch is going to come down and close up your little wallet pop-up gift card holder. See? It really is simple. Now, when we layer the papers, it starts to look fabulous, I think. Some people, and I've seen this, will also put glue along that bottom edge when we did the two sides, and they'll do the bottom edge because, let me show you, the gift card technically can slide all the way through. I've never had one fall out, and, um, but I just want to point that out. If you want to add glue along that bottom line, go ahead and do that. Um, 
you know, we, we, we could do it now even, you know, just with a little bit of glue and it would keep the card from smush, you know, going down in quite as deep. Okay. So now you need your pretty papers. I've got mine cut and I will give you some measurements. I like to layer something on these, on the pop-up part. This is optional, you know, you don't have to, but I, I like it. I think it looks, it gives it a little more of a finished look. You can leave it. Um, it's up to you. But if you want to add these two, and then we will have to trim that notch just a little bit. If you want to add these two, they are three and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do these first and again use whatever papers. You'll see on this one the papers all coordinate, but I didn't do them exactly from the same, same pattern. All right, um, do you want to be careful with the glue so that we don't end up getting it everywhere because there is that little notch already punched out? Okay, and I'm just gonna layer it in here. Like I said, just be careful in case I had some glue that I don't accidentally glue the flap shut. And then on this one, I think I'm gonna turn it this way and glue it down. This one I don't have to be as careful because that little piece is already there. I hope y'all can hear me. Sometimes I realize I start talking quietly. All right, there we go. Very fun. I'm gonna grab that same punch and just line it up and punch out the little paper. Just right there. Okay, that looks good. Now I have some papers. I have one, I believe this might be the one for the back. Aren't those houses cute? Um, we'll save that one and I'll give you the measurements of that one in just a minute. Um, okay, where's the front? I think we just have to choose which one. Hmm. I think on this one, yeah, I went whole hog on this one and I put one on every layer. I think I normally leave this blank in case you want to write and that's how I um, cut my papers this time. But they're all the same size. So, well, that's not true. These two are the same size. So for your front panel, you need a piece that's three and three quarter inches by two. And then for this inside front panel, exact same measurements, three and three quarters by two inches. So I just have to decide which one do I want on the front and which one do I want inside. Um, if you want one on this back panel, it's the same three and three quarter inches, and then you would make it by two and a quarter instead of two. Or I guess you could use a two inch one, but two and a quarter. I'm gonna leave mine blank because I didn't cut paper for it. Now, this top flap up here has a little piece of paper as well. And it is also, you guessed it, three and three quarter inches. And this one is by one inch. Now, because this is these kind of um, blue, greeny colors with the trees, which I love, um, I'm gonna use this, on, this one on the front. That helped me make my decision. Okay, I ink these and then we will get this one put together. This one is held closed. Um, we'll put a, a decoration, but it has a little Velcro dot. And you guys know how I love my Velcro dots, um, which I will show you in just a moment. If you're new to my channel, I love using them. Um, and if you wanna see any of the supplies that I'm using, you can go ahead and check out the link um, after you finish watching the video, of course, <laughs> um, to my Amazon storefront. It's an affiliate link, which means I will get a few pennies from Amazon if you do choose to order something, but no pressure, just to show you what I like to use if you do need some supplies. Okay. All right, it's so cute. 
now I have to pick, I'm gonna pick something for the front in just a minute. Let's put these trees on the inside. They coordinate well. Um, I got these pieces actually from some of the envelopes, I think, in the kit. I wanted another pattern um, in, the, in the size that I needed and so I, I used them. So again, just because the paper pack prints something like a tag or an envelope or whatever, you really can. Um, you could punch circles out of tags to get some fun images. You know, you don't have to use it exactly the way um, it is in the kit. So these were these images actually were for some from some envelopes. And I think the size of them work well um, of the pattern. All right, we're just gonna glue this back piece down. I don't know if I gave you the measurement, but I will in one second. It's three and three quarter inches wide by two and a quarter. So again, you would need two this size if you want one for this back panel, and then two of this size and two of this size. So, and then only one, unless you wanted to do that flap there. <laughs> so you could get crazy layering. This takes me back to my card making days. Okay, let me pick something out. So what I was saying is there's like all these little pieces that'll be cute, but why don't I, I'm gonna pick, I might just pick one of these um, or one of the other tags. I have lots of pieces here from the kit <clears throat> that I haven't cut out yet. Um, we could punch a circle and use that for our closure. So I wanted an image that was a little bit bigger. I wonder if, um, I'll just have to see when I hold the punch there, what Santa will look like if I punch him out. Yeah, I think it'll work. We'll see. All right. It's a little small. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my scallop circle punch and we will make, um, we'll punch a scallop circle out too and see. And I think that would look good in red, wouldn't it? Let me grab some of my red card stock. Yeah. Okay, so I love using my punches. Yep, I think this is gonna look cute. So see, you really can change up um, the elements. The first one that I made, that Christmas tree, just screamed. Um, and I love that I put a little bow on there and I just think it looks very finished that way. So here's Santa. And let's see, I've got some Red and white baker's one. This one's pretty thick. I have some that's thinner, but let's see how this looks if we decide to do a little bow on this one as well. Just for some extra embellishment. At Christmas time, you know, you really can't do too much, right? <laughs> okay, let's first glue this circle on. So we're only gonna add glue to not even a full third, more like maybe a quarter. And because I do not want to accidentally get glue and glue this closed. Okay, everything's looking good. So, you know what? I think I may just put it right here on this flap. And I'm gonna use one of the permanent glue dots. I'm just gonna pull it off of here. That way I don't have to wait for any glue, wet glue to dry. We'll just use this. Stick him on there. Yep, that's cute, I like it. All right, and now we need the Velcro dot. So this is what they look like in the package. It's the 3 8 of an inch circle and they're super skinny, so it doesn't add a lot of bulk. And I just take one side and stick it down. And then the opposite one that holds it together, I just stick to that one. 
and then I close it and I know they've lined up perfectly that way. All right. Oh, I'm very happy with this one. I love that scalloped circle. All right, and then you can put a gift card whoa, down in here. See? And now I am thinking, even though I just said I never had one fall out, maybe you do want to glue that down. So maybe we'll glue it and come back and check it here in just a minute. So if you were crafting with me and you didn't glue yours closed, let's see what happens if I just carefully add a little bit of glue. I may have gotten it too high up. We'll see. All right, we're going to let it dry. And if any of you try to use that gift card number, you're going to not be happy because I've already spent all the money on that gift card. And I just save it for crafting. Okay. Very cute. We'll go back and check and see how that did in a minute. All right. And now then the last one. I don't know how long we've been crafting, but we're going to keep going. Um, this is the easiest. Saved it for last. Um, it's this sweet little belly band and a fold. So... For this one, you need to start out with a piece of cardstock. And you could use um, scrapbook paper cardstock. That would work just fine. Or you can use a neutral and layer like I'm doing. Eight inches by four inches. And the neighborhood dogs are now serenading us. <laughs> All right, again, we do have a score to make. So on that eight inch side, Let's see, we are gonna score it at two inches and five and a half. Okay, that's, that's easy. Two inches and five and a half inches. Now on this one, I am gonna encourage you not, to, don't, don't take your bone folder and do a really hard crease. We're just gonna just gently fold it, okay? And I find that you know if you have a pretty thick, weight cardstock, you know, you, that, 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 that's enough, but it gives you a little bit of room in here. So um, anyway, don't do a hard crease is my, is, is my advice. <laughs> All right. So we're also going to do a notch. What don't we do? Should we do a scalloped notch? I don't know if I'm going to like that. Let's just do a regular notch, Pam. Um, I'm eyeballing it. You can mark the center. Obviously, this is again going to be where the gift card goes. And I am gonna add the glue on these two sides to go ahead and just close it up. Now, again, with this craft card stock, I really kind of have to hold it, but I'm still not pressing down on that crease line. I'm leaving it a little bit wider. You guys can see that. Okay, select it just a little bit. We're gonna let that dry really well. Now, to layer your papers, you want a piece for the back. I always tend to pick up that one first. This piece measures, now you could skip this too, by the way, you know, if you're in a hurry, you don't have to decorate the back if you don't want to. Um, this piece measures three and three quarters by three and one quarter. Do you guys kind of pick up that that was a pretty standard measurement we had? I think it's because that's the size of gift cards. <laughs> to make sure things fit, you need at least that width, I guess, four inches. And then we layer with the three and three quarter inch. All right, this is the back. I have it turned the right way. Isn't this paper fun, the ornaments and the holly? Um, we're gonna glue it all the way down. All right, and center it on that piece. Again, not pushing down on that line. All right, now the piece that fits right here is three and three quarter inches long by two and a quarter inches wide. And then I'll give you the measurement of the last piece that's on the pocket. Oh, 
Okay, and I just realized we really should have layered this piece on the pocket before we glued it with the notch. I'm gonna show you if you're crafting with me and you're like, Pam, you messed me up. I'll show you how to fix it. Um, so if you haven't started, lay this piece of paper on, glue it, and then do your notch, and then glue your pocket. I hope that makes sense. But to make mine line up, I'm just gonna mark, you can measure if you wanna be really precise, but I'm just marking the center where I had the notch, and I'm gonna do a very shallow, you can always take more off, snip, and let's see. Look, it worked perfect. If you want it up a little more, snip just another tiny little sliver another tiny sliver and it my punches i need to sharpen and thank you those of you who have sent me messages telling me how i can sharpen them i'm gonna do that um i've heard y'all have said use um like a pie plate a, a aluminum a metal whatever throwaway pie plate which sounds like a great idea, or multiple layers of tin foil, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do that, I just haven't. But look, it worked, no problem. All right, we're gonna glue this panel down. But it would have been easier if I had done my layering, punched my notch, and then glued my pocket shut. All right, there we go. Now, um, we could decorate more if we wanted to, you know, layered. But again, you could, you know, write write something to someone. We could put um, one of these cute little images. Here's some sweet little tags. You know, you, you can keep going. I'm going to, to leave mine. Um, we are going to make the belly band. And I'm going to put the decoration for the front on the belly band like I did for this one. Now, this one, I did a belly band that is glued closed and it just slides on and off. If you want, you can attach your belly band with some Velcro so that it opens up, you know, if you have, if you want to. Um, I'll talk you through that. I'm probably gonna just glue mine closed, but. Okay, for this last piece, you need a strip of paper. And when I was cutting my paper, I didn't know if I wanted to do more ornaments or if I wanted to do these trees, and I think I want to do the trees. Um, this piece of paper is one inch by eight inches, and we are gonna score it to make it easy to make sure it wraps around nicely. So on that eight inch side, it's one inch by eight inch, and we are gonna score at one and three quarters, sure you guys can see that one and three quarters and then five and one quarter okay and again don't don't crease those down um super hard because we want the belly band um to be loose enough to easily slide on and off i do want to add a little bit of ink to mine. So now's the time to do that if you want some ink. On my sample that I made, I used the red cardstock and then just on this front part, I layered a piece of the gingerbread Christmas tree paper, left it solid on the back. Again, you, you have options. This, this one, I decided to use a piece of the patterned paper. Okay. And depending on how you do this, because this has a directionality, if I'd done it the other way, my trees would have been upside down. They are upside down on the back, but on the front, they are in the right direction. So this is where I'm saying, if you want a belly band that opens, you can, at this point, go. Ahead, you can add your decoration and then do a Velcro dot from the, 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 the decoration, like let's just say we're gonna do this one. I can glue this to the belly band, put a Velcro dot here and here, and then either slide it off or open it with the belly band. Um, or we can just glue it together loosely, slide it on and off. I will do the Velcro dot just to show you in case that was confusing. 
So let me see what pieces I have. Look at that cute snowman. All right, so my question is, do I want to do something um, that's sort of narrow like this? I thought I had a sentiment, like a happy holidays or something. Look at that poinsettia. Isn't it pretty? Okay, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> We will do the snowman because he is in my hand and he's making me happy. Um, I was really hoping to also use one of these somewhere. Maybe we'll find a place in a minute. We'll see. Or I may just save them for another project. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to glue my snowman to this belly band and do I want him, you know, where he's sort of to the top? Do I want him centered? I think I want him centered. So I was taking it off of my pocket because I really don't want to accidentally glue my pocket closed, but I will be careful, but that is your warning. Um, and you can also decide where to position your belly band. Like if you want, want it, it could be to the, the right, it could be to the left, in the middle. You have choices, depending on your patterns and what looks good to you. All right, I want to add the snowman to this top flap of my belly band because I'm not gluing my belly band closed. I decided not to. So I'm just going to add some glue here so I do not accidentally get it all over and glue everything closed. All right, and I centered it left to right. The little tab. Okay, he's looking good. Now I am going to do a Velcro dot. Now at this point, if you don't wanna do the Velcro dot, glue the snowman all the way to this piece of paper but not, you know, don't make it too tight, but it will work. That's how I did this one. But we're gonna do a glue dot, or a Velcro dot, not a glue dot. And this one, you can, will be able to slide off and on or open with the, with the belly band. It gives you some options. But it really is not, you know, it, it, it's not necessary. And especially if you have lovely people in your life that are going to go, thank you for the gift card, and then toss this in the garbage in like two seconds. That makes my heart hurt. Um, it happens. Um, you know, you may decide you don't want to use your Velcro dot for that. And I got this one a touch. A touch tight, I think. Nope. It's okay. All right. There it is, is that not cute? I love it. And then you can just open it up. Here we go. Let's add our gift card. You can stuff it way in there. If you want, you can leave it up a little bit, you know, if you want them to see what the gift card is for. And then the belly band will just Want to do it not upside down? We'll pop right on. So cute. All right. So let's check where I glued this one together and see if if it worked or if I added too much glue. Oh no, it worked perfect. Yep. Look at that. And now it won't slide out the bottom. So perhaps <laughs> that's what you should do. But you can do it when you're actually gluing these flap, this flap together. Okay. All right. I hope you guys have liked these ideas. I hope you will make some and it will, you know, make your holiday gift giving a little festive and fun this year. I'm going to make some to use. I know myself, uh, but I also plan to have some in my craft fair that's at the end of November. People hopefully will be ready to be thinking about Christmas gifts. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, thanks for watching.